Do you believe in ghosts? A local man does and claims he caught some in Richmond this past weekend. Our Morgan was there for the paranormal experiment and has what our cameras caught new at 11. Self-proclaimed ghost hunter Robert Bass built a specially designed contraption just for this experiment. Last Saturday, he took his new invention to the Bird Park Pump House, where four years ago he claims he saw roaming spirits. This time, he was determined to catch one. The old Richmond Pump House has a rich history. Built in the late 1800s, it doubled as the city's water supplier and dance hall. But these stone walls may be home to the supernatural. Ghost hunter Robert Best thinks so and is here to prove it. Bobby has mainly concentrated on the last four years of actually going through with this containment yeah, which thing. Has taken so a lot of time. It has taken a tremendous amount of time. This, this area is almost as void of any man made electromagnetic signals as any place I've ever heard. What you see is the culmination of four years of research. A 1,200 pound bulletproof plexiglass box reinforced by steel beams. As far as it ever being done before, the only time I've ever heard of it was in the movie Ghostbusters. <laughs> okay. Theoretically, there, there could very well be some way to, to control or contain or at least to, to influence in some way the, these energy forms. In order to put, put the lasers and every all the electrical stuff that need uh, it, you got to be on inside so something has to be built and then when when it's go time you pull that out if you can do that that would be a, a great milestone yeah in history in history and uh and I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what he can do bobby does know what he's doing he is he is legit he's not trying to pull a hoax over nobody else nobody's eyes because he is true most definitely, the pictures prove it. Yeah, pictures prove it. So I've learned that, you know what, I'm going to take this misfitability, as people call it, and I'm going to find out how I can turn it into something positive and do something that nobody else has ever done before. Ghost hunters are still running around chasing myth and legends, which is fine. And then it came to me that, you know what, if you can mentally capture it, and you can capture it on film, because they told me, you know, 20 some years ago, you can't photograph ghosts. It's impossible. Sure you can. I proved that wrong. Then they said you couldn't contain anything. You couldn't hold them. You couldn't do this. You could. I had more people tell me what I couldn't do than what I could do, and which made even the challenge greater. This idea actually started when Erwin Amphras had the idea in 1860 to use two coil wires to create an electromagnetic charge and see if it could happen, so he did. He tried and found out that two positive charges do create a magnetic field, a super magnetic field, even in a small area. That, area, that little theory got thrown out by physicists and everybody else because they said the charge isn't practical, it couldn't be used for anything, but it could be used in here. And this is where this theory will be applied. It's inside here at the Vertor Pump House. Energy is amazing. Have you ever seen what a lightning bolt can do? That ought to tell you. Lightning strikes, lightning can do vast amounts of damage at one time. So this is the same thing. You're using raw, uncontrolled energy will be inside this container. My theory on this, <clears throat> biblically, in the beginning, there was the earth was created, God gave everything that you see around you. Then what happened was that once God gave power, Satan got banned. Satan claims souls now. This is the same thing. God claims souls. You either follow a light or you follow something else. I'm assuming places like this, portals, passages are set up just like this. And what's happening is that they're, you know, it's powered by hell and run by Satan himself. You know, one of these things that 
you follow that voice and once you cross over into the portal, you're already in an immortal type of life, boom, you're there. You know, and then you can't leave the realm. And you can't go anywhere, you're stuck right there. Satan's yeah. claim one more, one more. And this is what I think probably happened here because there's no way babies, a lot of these women, you're not going to tell me that every one of these people we've got pictures of mm -hmm. are all people of sin, crime, murder, whatever. Right. No. You know, so I'm, you know, that's just a theory at this point until we can actually prove what I really want to do is, and I hate to say it, but I really want to provoke whatever's controlling this. Mm -hmm. I want him or her to show, show me exactly who they are. Just totally just, you know, unleash it. I want to see what I'm dealing with here. You know, to kind of put that puzzle together. But at the same time, you know, I don't want a holy disaster to happen either. <laughs> I want, you know, I want both. I want my cake and eat it too, you know, but I don't know if I'm going to get that. Exactly. I see him, but I don't want to see his wrath, you know, because his wrath could be something that could be devastating to a building like this, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason that it's here. There's a reason that this whole area is inhabited this way. I just don't know what it is. But that's part of the experiment is to see just if we can do this. The open air field of energy was the first test. It's low level. Energy was at a lower level. They thrived on it. So now it's time to go ahead and take it all the way up to the top and go ahead and do it, yeah. you know. Steven, take some more shots. Here it comes. Take some shots, Steven. What have you got? People who have digital cameras, if you could come down here and do like Trish is doing, people with digital cameras, take closer shots of the containment unit. Shoot through the fog. I don't know if my magnets are strong enough to give us what we're supposed to have, but she's got one picture of one person looking back at her through the plexiglass on her camera. So if everybody's got better cameras, come on down here and take some shots at it. I encourage it. But we can't tell if it's a boy or a girl that's looking back at her on the inside.
It's in there, man. It's in there, dude. It's in it. It's in there. And each and every person here today is a witness to a containment and have finally seen the impossible done. And each and every person here today is a witness to a containment and have finally seen the impossible done.